All right, so I think first order of business, we need to go back to our dorm room, get some rest, heal up, change into our uniform, and then come right back down here. I feel like I'm uh, back in school again. This is the parking lot? Okay. to remake Final Fantasy VIII. I could see them do, doing like alternate costumes. I think like the uh, Final Fantasy VII remake came out earlier this year. And that was one of the things, like, I would not have minded alternate costumes in that game. Like, uh, having Tifa wear her Advent Children outfit, I would have done that for a few hours. Or maybe have Tifa wear that, like, cowboy outfit that she had as a kid. I would have done that for a few hours. Have Squall dress up as a, a generic Shinra officer? I would have done that for a few hours. Not Squall. Cloud. I think as a kid, I always thought I always thought Zell was so cool. He had a tattoo and he fought with his fist. He was like a cool version of Tifa from Seven. He's kind of a dork. He's kind of a dork, but in a lovable way. He's not bad. He's just stupid. So Cypher is going to be our squad leader in this tension. Zell doesn't like Cypher. Squall doesn't really like Cypher. Cypher probably doesn't like Cypher. I like how everyone else is in uniform. Cypher just doesn't give a fuck. Quistus got some jokes. Cypher definitely is a person who puts an eye in team. speech 
as if he were in front of a whole crowd of people, but it's just our one squad. Because he makes me think if he does this speech to every single squad, in which would be more efficient to line all the squads up and give one speech instead. Sid is looking especially blurry. He's not actually there. He's actually part of the background. That's hilarious. I feel bad for Zell. I really do. He's obviously some extrovert, loves to talk, loves to talk to people, loves to get along, but he's stuck in a car with no one feeling the same. Trolls in history. No, but there was a junction point back there. No, I refuse. There are junction points, not draw points. This is important. I remember there being like invisible draw points in this game. And part of me wants to just run around mashing the uh, confirm button. But oh boy, I would never actually find anything. Interesting. So Squall has a 255% hit rate. I guess. Squall never misses physical attacks. Okay. Alright. 
So later in the game, we'll find out that this is Zell's mother. She has his uh, triple triad card. And I'm gonna lose to her. I can't challenge her yet. Unfortunate. I was very willing to lose cards to her. Is there nothing else in this town except that one draw point? There's a cat. get shot at. Cypher is a repeat exam taker. Apparently he's failed becoming a seed multiple times in the past. Explain it again, I wasn't paying attention. No. Cypher's a real dick when he's in charge. And this, this scene is really nice. At first you think they're flying through the sky, then you realize it's a reflection of the ocean. The ocean is just completely calm. Obviously, supposed to be evocative of a D Day World War II. Thankfully, we don't get completely annihilated by Gatling guns. Yeah, if this really were World War II, of course, this would be dead. Squall would be dead, Cypher would be dead, all the bullet holes. 
could be a much darker game. Junction on GF on his Zell. Oh, come on. Who do I want to lose? I don't need magic. And Shiva's going to get strength. So it's okay to. She was gonna learn strength, so it's okay to put her put her on the Zell. Cause Zell's also a strength person. Also have. Ooh, okay. Let's get some cures going. Let me see if I can trigger Cipher. Uh, if he does have one, I missed it. enemies are really similar to Final Fantasy VII's Shinra soldiers, except less goofy. Yeah, okay, he does have a trigger. Start drawing some fire for Zell since I need to junction strength. Missed that one. He's really bad at drawing though. Side? No. There's one over here.
guess we're just gonna keep drawing with Zell and Squall and killing with Cypher. Especially since it's just a one guy, one or two guys. These guys don't hit that bad. Pet the dog. Let's all pretend we're petting the doggo. I know they're playing it up like Cypher's bored and just not wanting to stick around, but this, if you're like in a, in a real battle zone like this, and you're just stuck here and you just hear everything around you, but you're not allowed to move, how nerve-wracking would that be? How scary even, knowing that the fighting could come to you at any point, but you're only safe for the moment. Top left, you see the radio tower. The weird looking, but. I guess that's where they're headed. to draw. Let's get some more fires. We should get thunder. No, 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 think about it. We should get thunder. But I don't really care. So we're going to go get back to fires. Let's get fire. Fire increases our strength, makes us kill things better.
Okay. Now we got monsters. get some gears. So whoever hits the finishing blow on an enemy gets more ex experience than the other people, which is really stupid. It's a team effort, Cypher. It's a team effort. Missing these really easy quick time events here. potions? No. Okay. Uh, squalls... Uh, uh, no. No. Okay. No one's low enough to use a potion. GF abilities. Three more. Three more. You got a while to go. Okay.
so this was the first time we get an insight on Cypher, is that he's a little bit more than just an asshole. He's got something he's working towards. He's willing to compromise morally to get it, but... Alright. That had to have hurt. You don't have any, like, knee protection or anything. So I think originally when I played the game, Selfie here, Selfie was part of my mainstay. She was part of my crew. Her limit break is really random, but also really broken. Because she, her limit break uh, lets you cast any magic in the game, plus some unique magics for her. One of which just lets you win the battle instantly. The other which, Aura, allows you to, allows the person who you cast it on to use their limit break regardless of what their HP value is. So she's just really, really stupidly broken and I'm probably not going to use her. your card. We need some thunder. death animations in this game. They're so over the top, and they actually feel very satisfying. Oh, come on. Shoot. Take one step. Encounter. I wanted to equip some GFs on selfie first. Oh well, she'll be my cipher of this battle. Who do I want to lose? I don't need Cuddle. No. There we go. I need Cuddle. Magic. Selfie. Exchange. 16 Thunders. Ooh, you got some fires there. I'm going to take all of your thunders. Also going to need cures.
Okay. This scene is really wonky, like the, the angle of the shot is really disorienting. Monsters everywhere here. Okay, no, it's just regular dude. I want more fire. Did I cast fire or did I draw it? I guess that scene was poking fun of the fact that when she was introduced, she fell off a cliff. It's like, I'm not gonna fall this time, guys. during the cutscene. some good music in this game. I'm not sure if that song ever gets used again, but they really killed it. Selfie has magic above draw.
I'm gonna keep getting fired from the hell. Cure all no, just one person at a time. Okay. a way to kill these guys in a particular order to get more experience out of this fight. I have no idea what that order is. That's not the person I thought I was drawing with. Usually they'll do that. Double. Double's really important. I hate to do this, but double's really good. I think double, when you junction it to HP, it will double your HP, double your base HP. Which there are some magics that will do better than that, just percentage-wise. But for now, at this point in the game, it's good. It's real good. stats, so having him cure himself is not a good idea. I don't know when the next time I'll have a chance to get double is. That's that's the problem. Oh, I, I thought that was his beak. That's his chin.
All right. I'm going to officially say I have enough doubles. I probably don't have a hundred between everyone. That's fine. Thirty-seven. Oof. Those random draws. So yeah, when you draw magic from an enemy, there's like a random modifier you get to determine how powerful the magic is. But when you cast it from your stock, it's just normal. So I'm taking a risk by drawing Cure from this guy to cast. But I, I don't want to use my stock. I wish I had given Selfie some scam magic. We didn't scan it, which I think there's an achievement for scanning every enemy in the game. But we're not going to get that this run. We got the GF. That's important. I don't think any of the uh, GFs you get from enemies are missable, per se. Uh, it's just a really long time before you ever get the chance to get them again. Attention to detail, like if you look, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like a hole, a great, a hole in the floor with a grate over it. Selfie jumped over it. It's like 
there are things that they don't have to do with these animations. I think earlier in town, when we got on this boat, you had Squall duck to get inside the boat. They could have just had him walk down some stairs, but the attention to detail, the attention to detail they do with these character models, it's really nice back in the old days. It's like they do things that you didn't think they had the capability to do with the technology they had. So Cypher just runs away. Doesn't care about his group at all. Just GTFOs. Hold on. Is the time... Oh, the time's still running. Uh, Magic Zell. Uh, or Selfie Exchange. Take all. Take all. Alright, we got 58 doubles. Oof. Not quite. We got... So it's about as strong as Cure. It'll give me more magic, though. Imagine if I clicked yes. All right, since we're on a time limit, I'm not going to draw from enemies. Although, I haven't seen what this particular enemy has in store. Scan! punched him. I, I know he has the same death animation for everyone, but it was very fitting that Zell punched him. The guy held his gut as if he had been punched and then keeled over. I love the death animation in this game. Give him a little poke. What is this? Protects. Okay. Oh, I don't care about scanning. Uh, draw? Magic. Thunder. I definitely cast gets a combo. If it didn't take forever. Quetzalcoatl, Quetzalcoatl. Let's do it once. Although, I just passed with my healer, and no one else has the capacity to heal. Except by drawing from the boss. Oh. Finger poker doom. I 
may scan him. I don't know how much HP I have to go through. particular boss repairs after a little while and you can only escape by hitting him getting him down like that there are ways okay in this sequence the boss is just gonna chase after you until you get to the shore there are ways to avoid his encounters I don't know any of them I think I think if you walk here, he doesn't spawn. Even if that's not the case, I only wasted like 30 seconds. This bridge, I think he's gonna try to jump across. Ah, oh, come on! I thought you were supposed to... Alright, well, we're doing this again. I should have healed. No, I, I should have healed, full stop. There was no plan, I didn't have time. I, I should have healed after the first encounter. I mean, that's just death right there. He's got pincers, like literal scissor hands if you look at him. I don't know why he ever put them down. All right, we need to cast Thunder with Selfie. Her attacks are just not good. Or, you know, cast Pure. Pure is good, too. looks a lot more devastating than it is. Save the dog, that's important. Is he gonna jump again? Or is that it?
That's hot. So running away wasn't that as bad as I remember it being. I don't know if walking that one screen actually helped, but if it did, we, uh, we got away from one encounter. Uh, the bridge... Maybe the bridge, I wasn't supposed to get too far ahead of him, and that's why he jumped. If I had let him spawn first and then run ahead of him just a few feet... Maybe he wouldn't have jumped. Let's go check out Zell's house. Maybe we can lose to his mom at cards this time. I think if you actually stay on the roads, somehow you avoid all encounters. But I was not on the road there. Alright, as usual. Let's draw some stuff. GF's doing. Oh, you did it. And you've wasted some stuff. Good. Good, because I wanted summon magic plus tab. Ah, okay. Well. Kind of want that vitality instead. I wish you could, like, set up a queue. Like, I want, I want this first, I want that next. I know about boost. I know what it does. I'm not gonna use it. It's fine. I'm not gonna use a whole lot of summons this game. Vitality, what magic plus 20. And I want team magic or fine. Like if I could set up a queue, like this is the one this is what I want to learn in the order I want to learn them. That would be great. Yeah, we need H. No, 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 we're not done here. Oh, Siren. Status defense junction. A second slot of status defense junction. Okay. 
That's useful. Move find. I don't think I've ever seen a hidden save point anywhere in the game. Maybe that's just because I've always had move find item on. Who knows? want you to have magic junction, but Okay, status attack, status defense. And Asuna would be good, just general. I think you get up to 20% resistance to most everything. Ability. I need, need your draw to be first. Okay, okay. I have scan on the squall now. I'll keep stopping the scan. road? Are we skilled enough people to stay on the road? We did it. Selfie was really useful, her magic really good. Zell became useful once I was able to junction some strength onto him. Take two steps to the right and get booted out to the next screen. Alright, I think I'm going to wrap it. Never mind! Alright, so it looks, uh, looks like the town of Dalit is okay, the Galbadian army withdrew under the one condition that the, the, ta the communications tower that we saw them boot up remains active. We don't know why they want it to be active yet, but apparently that was their main goal for invading the town. Hmm. 
Linda, I'm her best student. Oh, come on, there's a save point right there. That really bothers me. What's up, Cypher? I wonder if this official, yeah, I think this official heard Sid and came out to like send him away so he could stop him. Like I think there's a rift between the headmaster Sid and all the Seed officials. Like these guys and their ilk want Seed mercenaries to just be mach mindless machines, follow the contract, do whatever they're told, do nothing else. And Cypher went up beyond that. I need to go get changed. Ah, oh, come on. Can I save? Thank you. Okay, now. Now we're going to call it for this episode. We'll pick up with the aftermath next time. See ya.